Hi everyone, I'm Celeste and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my graduation fabric from Best to Stoffa. If you guys didn't know, I am a big fan of this fabric boutique in Denmark. It is in Ringstel and it's kind of far away. I love doing these mini hauls just to show you some of the projects and fabrics that I've got and show you a glimpse into what I will be working on into the future. If you're new to my channel, hi hi, I'm Celeste Orchid. I have been cosplaying since 2005, sewing since 2006-ish, so I'm a self-taught seamstress. If you have any questions or anything about my content, I do cosplay, sewing, fashion, and the vlogs. So I hope you guys will subscribe by clicking that red button down below. And let's go ahead and get into revealing my Best Estafa fabric haul. Yeah. I am so pregnant and tired. Oh my God. Recently, I just graduated from my work academy for Copenhagen School of Design Academy and my husband treated me to a shopping haul at Best Estafa, which I'm just like, oh my god. That makes me super excited. And some of these fabrics are not meant for me, but it is a family cosplay stuff that we will be using. So it's really exciting. I know in total we spent about 1357, so 1,357 crowns. This is what it actually costs. And I love talking to Brigitte. Brigitte is the nicest woman ever. So let's go ahead and get into this fabric haul. Woo! One of the first fabrics that I really wanted was a red. And this red is like a taffeta. It's really nice. It's not stretchy. It's a little bit shiny. You can see the color here. It's very vibrant. And we will be using this for our Hades cosplays and finishing up another cosplay that I've been wanting to finish. And the first fabric that I got was very stretchy, it didn't work, and that's why that has been put on hold. But we got lots of this fabric. We bought the entire bolt and it was on discount for 40 crowns. And I'm just like, well, I guess I'm buying all of this. So this is mine. Red fabric. So I will be using this for an Eliza cosplay from Tekken. I actually use her. So like, if anyone's just like, oh, you're cosplaying as someone you don't play as. It's like, that's a lie. I do play as her. I'm decent and I have most of the costume finished. It was supposed to be a surprise costume for last year. And then when I tried to finish it, it got messed up. So I never got to finish it because I didn't have the right fabric. Now that I have a very nice fabric that I think is perfect for her, I will be using this. So that is fabric number one. And I don't know how many meters we got, but we got all of it and she gave us a discount. Um, now I have this fabric right here next to me and I was so scared to cut it. So I've had this one for a bit, but I got more of it. So now I have two cuts of it. So I really wanted to be able to make a dress and a robe. So now I'll have two pieces of the same fabric for a different garment each. And I really wanted to be able to have a sequin kind of like robe to wear around going out like a kimono, kind of like one of those just flowy roby thingies but i didn't want to like just not have this as a dress and for all those who saw on my instagram i even made a poll and i'm just like oh, i just don't want to choose so instead we bought more yay but it's it's really nice like the fabric is really nice it's a nice um mesh so the mesh is actually like floral print if you can see it it's a nice floral print and then there's clear sequins that they printed on top of it. So I love it. I think this is such a fun, colorful effect. It's not so loud, but it could be loud, you know, that kind of thing. So these next fabrics are very interesting because I didn't think about doing this cosplay until I was starting to have problems during my pregnancy of trying to pick things up. And that's because of Emperor's New Groove, Pacha's Wife, Chicha! And so we got this really nice mustard garbardine fabric that's going to be the top and kind of the lower part of the dress. And then underneath it, I got this really great deal of 1.6 meters for 40 crowns. And it's like the perfect orange. And I'm just like, okay, I have to do this costume now. So both of these are going to be for my Chicha cosplay. And I know I have some green for a headband somewhere, so I'm not worried. But I'm super excited! 
like to make this cosplay. I love Emperor's New Groove. But who am I to not get any fabric for my husband to be my poncha? Look at that. Oh my god. So in the clearance rack, I actually found the perfect fabric for my hubby to be Pacha. And it's actually really nicely woven, so it looks like um, a little farmer kind of thing. It was 100 crowns for 1.5, but the fabric quality is so good. So all I had to do is get him some brown pants, he's got sandals, make him a hat, and then uh, ta-da, we got a Pacha and Chicha cosplay from Emperor's New Groove! I'm so excited to be able to make just a quick little poncho for my hubby, and that way he has a quick cosplay with me and the baby. Now this one is really interesting because I didn't think about it until I was playing the game. And I was like, oh my god, I'm in love! Love! And that is Hades by Supergiant Games. And I was thinking, oh my god, it'd be so cool if I was Persephone with baby Zagreus in her Greek form. And this one is really cool because the hubby found this fabric and it's really woven. It has, it's not like so clean, so it has this nice texture to it. Um, I think you can see the texture. It is a little bit sheer, but I will be like pleating it and like gathering it so it becomes really nice and tight. And then this one is going to be the shawl that goes with it. So then all I had to do is get a little basket and then braid a blonde wig and add a little bit of ties. And then ta -da, we be done. I'm so excited. So then I'll have my baby Zagreus when Mariano comes out. So those are the two cosplay pieces that I will be working on for a little bit. And then I have a surprise one with leftover fabrics from a different project. But that is the fabrics that I purchased for basically my cosplay stuff. So yeah, we got a lot of work ahead of us. This is Mama's favorite. Okay, so this is actually one of the first fabrics that I picked out for myself when we were at Best Estafa, and that was this orchid fabric! I love orchids, they are my favorite, and this one is no exception, because I know I just got some from Italy, but this is a very nice jersey orchid fabric. And it's so cool because the like the flowers itself are actually rainbow. And I've actually loved blue orchids. They were some of my favorite flowers. But then I realized it's just blue dye on, on orchids. So it's not like they're naturally occurring in nature. But I love the colors. I love the scheme. The stripes are something new. I don't wear a lot of stripes. But I love this fabric. So I believe we got two meters of this because I don't know if I'll ever get this again. But yeah, love it, had to buy it. This was one of my favorite fabrics of the day and we bought it because I love jersey fabrics. They're really easy to work with. They're easy to cut and sew and just make a fast dress. And you've guys seen me make like fast dresses. This is actually one of the other dresses that I've made recently that is a jersey fabric. And I got this fabric in London. I believe that's all the fabrics that I purchased for moi and uh, cosplay. So now these next ones are actually just smaller cut because I have a lot of material to go through now. <laughs> so these next fabrics are not for me, but they are for my son. And the first one that we saw that was so adorable was this pilot one. Now I'm not a big fan of like crazy prints. That's a lie. I am a big fan of crazy prints, but like this is for a baby. Like, this is clearly for a baby. It's jersey, and it's a little space. It's a little spacey. It's got planes. It's got a little cat, balloons. I think this is so adorable. So I was like, I have to get this for my son. I love the pilot motif. I think it's so fun. And so we bought it. I got one meter of this because I'm not sure exactly what I want to make, but I know I want to make something with it. Um... It's super soft, it's stretchy in four ways, so we'll see how that goes. So this is like the second fabric that I've ever purchased for my son. And I'm so excited to sew this that I'm, I looked in my stash of patterns and I have nothing. So I was like, great, now I gotta go get a pattern for baby. So there's that. 
Uh, the second fabric that we got was this little pirate one. Now this little pirate one, we're not, I'm not a big fan of pirates. I think pirates are fun, but they are not my aesthetic. So there's that in a bag of chips. But I thought it would be really cute if we did have like this little pirate fabric. It's got little crossbones, some ships, treasure map, bombs, hats, telescope. You know, it's so cute. So I also got like maybe, is this half a meter? I forget. But all of these like baby fabrics, I got really small amounts cause he's gonna grow. Definitely won't find that somewhere else. The next one I had to get, and that's because my dad is a pilot. Um, I think this was going to be really cool. This is kind of like an older baby, like this isn't like a baby, but maybe a toddler fabric. And this is like fighter planes. And I'm just like, ah, Gundam, ah, Macross, like, let's go. And it's got a lot of fighter jets. And I just think this would be really cool if I was able to make like a toddler size onesie or something bigger um, whenever my dad visits. So whenever my dad visits, he can see his grandson in such cute little plane outfits. I was gonna just make this into like a blanket or like beanie hats. But after finding out that babies grow exponentially fast, I don't want to make something immediately that's too small. So I want to kind of space it out for like a four month year old baby. Wait, four month old baby, not four month year old. Cause that means that it's one year and four months. Yeah, that makes sense. So the last one, this is because I saw it in the discount rack and this was also 40 crowns and I thought it was just really sweet. Um, this is the Playmobil uh, Knights and I thought it was so cute. Okay, I'm holding it upside down. So Playmobil is like the more child-friendly version of Lego and they're just like little knights and axes and I'm just thinking this would be so fun for my son to have um, a little bit older again, like I said, so maybe make him like a t-shirt and like some other things. But this is not something that I think a baby would use immediately as opposed to the other fabrics. This one's a little bit more mature um, in the sense of like probably 10 months old or something, I'm not sure. But I wanted to have this fabric because I don't know when I'm gonna see it again. So yeah, this fabric and this fabric are definitely more mature fabrics than what my baby fabrics are. But I really, 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 really did not want to regret not getting them. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed my Best to Stop a Fabric haul from 2022. If you have any fabrics or choices that you think that are really cool, leave me a comment down below. Thank you so much for getting to the end of this video. If you liked this mini fabric haul, make sure to click subscribe. I upload when I can and we'll see how well that goes. If you have any questions, hit me up. I'm here for you guys. And remember to stay inspired, be creative, and I will see you in a future video. Bye!